Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. I am Crash Rouser, and it's once again time to crash this guns with another Mexicrate unboxing video here on the channel. The lighting's a little different because I'm not using natural lighting because it's currently 8.30 at night. I don't know if you can actually see it on my uh, clock there, but it's currently 8.30 at night, and it's dark time, and I just checked my mail, and my Mexicrate has arrived. I'm very excited for this one because there's a lot of stuff we need to talk about before I get into this Mexicrate. I'm sorry if I ramble for a little while, but I need to tell you all the cool stuff that has happened recently. The first two things is I gotta give a shout out to G.O.W. Boozer. I'm using a pinata video on his channel. It's There's a little thing in the bottom I didn't just want to rip his video. Last time I had a video of Michael from GTA dancing in the background. Um, I just literally had that on. But this time I'm gonna give a shout out to you boy G.O.W. Boozer, so thank you for I guess, allow me to use this video. I don't know if you actually allow it, but I mean, there you go, free publicity. And along with that, Mexico's Independence Day comes up on the 16th of this month, so if any of my fans are there are from Mexico, I hope you have a great Independence Day. Oh, and I'm also drinking a Mexican beer. This is actually me imported from Mexico. It literally says on the back. It's got Spanish and everything on it. Uh, it's called Sol Cerveza, and I am 27, so I'm legally allowed to have an alcohol. So I'm going to be having an alcohol for my little beverage here. But the two biggest things is, first of all, I need to give a shout out, and I know her name in the email is Alexandria, or Alexandra, I think is what it is, but her username, I think, is ZombieDoll777. She actually sent an email, I won't read it out to you, because I feel it's more like kind of a personal email type thing. Um, she sent an email to Mexicrate saying that she actually subscribed to Mexicrate because of my unboxing. So thank you so much, um, ZombieDoll, or... Alexandra, whatever you whatever you like to go by, please confirm in the comments so I can give you a personal thank you, just, because that means a lot. It means that you guys are watching videos and liking it, and you're actually giving me a chance with it. And speaking of that, Mexicrate... Mexicrate got a hold of me. They sent me an email saying, Hey Crash, we've actually checked out your videos. We love the fact that you're so open to try the new pro try the products, and you're so enthusiastic enthusiastic about it. So Mexicrate has seen these videos, so shout out to you guys, Mexicrate, for, for noticing me after all this time. It means a lot. So one other quick thing. You may notice that there's no noise in the background. Midge, unfortunately, has moved out, so first of all, I do thank her for making the last three Mexicrate unboxings very entertaining. Um, I was entertaining an audience with you, but I was also entertaining with her, so it was it was awesome that me and her got experience at the same time. But I do thank Midge for just the last three months of just, you know, not not just hanging out with the videos, but for like being part of the videos, just being a good friend and all that stuff. So thank you for that. She's she only moved she moved back to her hometown because she's a teacher and she couldn't get a job unfortunately here, so she's back in her hometown. But uh, I do miss her a lot. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Personal moment. I got a tiny bit of beer in me and I'm already speaking the truth. But here's our Mexicrate, so as always, I always open it up and let you guys see it first. So, let me just open this little part first and open it up. Oh, look, it's blue. We got a blue. So we got two things. We have a new sticker, very cool looking sticker. Look at that. It's got the, uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, it's either Dias de Muertos, please, I've already pronounced that right, or Cinco de Mayo. I think it's Day of the Dead. i seen Coke. Oh, hold on. Yo, oh, that's the that's the thumbnail right there. There's your thumbnail. All right, um, Los Dales de Meto, something like that. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. We also have, oh, this is really cool. It's another little postcard. It says, you know, tag him on Instagram. You have a chance to re read it there. So, yes, we are going to open up this mix screen. Now, you guys are going to get the first look, like always, and see all the good stuff in it. Let's go. Oh, it's packed. It's packed like always. Oh, that looks cool. Wait, what is that? I see something like a fizzy? Do I have a fizzy drink? Oh, this is gonna be a good one already. Nice blue area. Um, I'm really, really excited for this. So let's get started. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start off with this one. It's called Salsaleta. Um, salsa in Pueblo, Valentina. Nothing is English on here. It looks like a beer bottle, but with chili on it. I have no clue what to expect. So this is going to be our first one here today. We're going to see what this one is like. My garbage can is empty, so if I do have to spit up another one of those terrible chili powder ones. 
Hope they didn't see that when I hate it, but uh, there's a lot of cool stuff. And I'm just looking at the box. It just looks so cool. There's another Pulperindo. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. So this is the thing itself. No smell, really, so let's go. Mmm. Kind of lemony, in a way. No spice. It's a little bit hard, so I can't really do anything about it. Um, mm hmm Can't really explain why. I think it might have chili powder on it, but... I actually can't taste it, huh? Yeah, I think there might be chili powder, but it's not, like, overpowering. It's pretty tasty. Um, tastes kind of like a lemon lollipop. It's not s salty. It's not, su it's pretty sweet. There's no spice, so I don't know if they're supposed to spice. This is a pretty good way to start off. It's a very simple sucker. I like this. Um, as always on the channel, we give it a yay, nay, or a may. I'm going to give this one a yay because it's a very good, it's just a very simple sucker. I can see me taking one of these out and just going while I edit my videos. So I'm going to try these. <gasps> We got a Taki! Oh, there's a Taki in there. Okay, if you guys know Takis, we'll get there. We'll get that one in a minute. Okay, so we have... Um, Brinquitos Candy Powder. This one's a lemon-flavored one. And we also have two of the orange flavors. So I'm probably going to try an orange flavor one. Anything on the back? Oh, it's just a powder. Sweet and sour chili powder. Okay, it's just a powder. Oh, we have another one. Here we go. So we got two of each flavor. Okay, so we can try both of them. Okay, we're gonna... I really know. I don't know. Am I supposed to dip this in something? There's nothing there with it, so I'm assuming it's literally just a powder. So we're gonna open it in the corner here. There we go. So it's just an orange powder. Oh yeah, it's just like a little crystallized powder. I don't know if you can actually see in there. Probably can't, but it's just a powder. We're just gonna... I'm just gonna dump it in. I gotta open a lot more now so you can probably see better in there. See, it's like a powder. It's like crystallized. I think in, it's kind of stuck to the little thing. Um, okay. I can see. Let's see, we're gonna mix and match. We've done this before. Take a lollipop and stick it in here. Oh, here we go. Maybe this is what it's for. Maybe not for this exact one, but. Mm-hmm. I like that. Oh, that's a good combo. I like this together. I'm giving it a yay for the powder itself, but a double yay for mixing two products together. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that, but I mean, I guess I encourage, I guess you probably encourage it, Max Crate. I wouldn't be surprised. I really like it. Um, I'll try the lemon one on another time, because I don't want to be sitting here eating this the whole time. That's really good. Especially the added bonus of the sucker with that thing was really good. Um, it's more sour than it is sweet. So it's nice to have that lollipop with the sour of this. So it's a really good combo. So we'll definitely be trying that one again later. Uh, we got another lollipop on the top. We have... Is this, is, this is this a thumb? Oh my god, this is a thumb. This one's called... Chupadito from Vero. I'm gonna open this one because it's a little bit easier. What in the world? Excuse me, I think this is actually a thumb. We're gonna, I'm gonna open this one up here now. I thought this was gonna be the easier one, but it doesn't look like it. There's a lot of stuff in here because I think what happened was when I put the the uh, the review up online, I think if you did a review, they gave you some extra stuff for it as a thank you. This is a this is a thumb! Oh my god, look at that! That's an actual thumb, like, look at that. <laughs> I love it, I don't know if the focus is actually working, but it's actually a thumb. Um, I don't know what to expect from this. Mmm. Oh, it's pepperminty. Okay, so the pink part is like a peppermint, kind of like a candy cane. And this part's like a cherry or a strawberry? really good. I wasn't expecting the peppermint. Like, it's mint. I don't think I've had anything mint in this entire box of my life. So this is really cool. 
Very tasty. I'm going to put it back in here now because we got a lot more to get to. But I'm giving that one another yay. You're on a roll right now, Mex Creek. Thank you very much. The fact that you upped your stuff was phenomenal and you're killing it because of it. So, like, that's another yay from me. Fantastic. This is Adama, a milk candy wafer. I got two of these. All right, let's check this one out. Okay, so this is the actual thing itself. All right. So it's actually a wafer, it's literally a wafer cookie with like caramel or something in the middle. I'm not even sure, I was giving it. Let's try. Oh, it's caramel. Mmm. This is pretty good. This is really good. Like, it's, I'm chewing a lot, but like, it's not a bad chew. This is really tasty. Jeez, I'm sad they only gave me two. I eat them right now. Um. Really good. The caramel is soft. Lots of flavor. It's one of those caramels that doesn't get stuck in my teeth because that's the biggest problem with caramel is it gets stuck in my teeth. I have a retainer down here, so it gets stuck in there. That was really tasty. Mexico great. You did it again. That's another one. One up. Fantastic. You are killing it this time around. I'm going to leave the Taki, I think, for last because Takis are kind of like the big thing. People know Takis, so... I'm gonna try this one next. It's called Peloneta del Puesto Sabor de Pepino. I have no clue what this is. There's no English whatsoever. It's, I just almost went like, hello. <laughs> um, it's this thing. No clue how this opens. All right, so we have, it looks like a powder. Oh, it's a little, oh my God, that's adorable. It looks like a little bean. That's, or it's a lime, I think. I think it's a slice of lime because the thing on the front was a lime. It's kind of really hard to see if this would focus. It's not gonna focus on it. That's fine. Um, looks like it comes in chili powder. And the last time I had chili powder, I hated every second of it. So, here we go. <coughs> I think it might be the same one from the last time. We're gonna try it here now. I just covered it in the chili because I hate myself. Mm. No, it is. Oh, it's the same exact chili from last time. Oh, did you put that in there as a prank? <laughs> um, that's the same exact chili from last time. No, down automatically. I can't tell what the actual lollipop was because it already had the powder on it. And then when I shook it up, it made it even worse. I'm sorry, you got it down, Mexicray. I know, you're so disappointed in me. You don't have to send me more stuff. You can if you like. Next up, we got a lot of these little ones here. We have Bubaloo Platano. What? Is an at symbol. Oh, we'll see. Platano, maybe? We got three of these. So we're gonna open this up and take this out here now. It looks like it's got filling. Caramel filling, maybe? Ooh, this looks promising. Oh, it's banana. Oh, that's so banana. Oh, it's a chewy candy. It's a little chewy banana candy. I'm oh, sorry for this one. What? Oh, it's gum. With like some kind of flavor in the middle. I don't know what it is. It's actual gum. Okay, this is gum. Mmm. It's banana gum. I don't know what the middle is. It's brown, whatever it is. So it might be caramel? De leche, maybe? I'll see if it says anything here. It says everything in Spanish. So I do not know. Um, but I'm not going to be chewing gum. So actually, you know what? I'm crazy. Let's swallow this. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. I just swallowed the gum. That'll be my digestive tract for seven years! That's really tasty. Very simple gum. This is kind of like, you know, Hubba Bubba, where you chew on it for a little while and the flavor might go away. I didn't chew on it long enough to see if the flavor was there, but I can still feel it linger in my mouth. It's banana flavored. That's really cool. That is a yay for me. I don't know a lot of banana flavored stuff, like the artificially flavored banana, but that's really good. Really enjoyed it. Shout out to you guys for that. Okay, so we've had this one before. This is the Extra Hot and Salted Tamarind Pulp Candy, a Pulperindo. I've had this one before, thought it was meh. 
I appreciate you sending me another one because I think this is the third one you sent me now, but I will eat this one off camera. Maybe I'll get one of my friends to try it. But uh, we got another potpourri now. I don't need to do a review. I think I gave this one a meh because it's not amazing. Um, but yeah, thank you for the potpourri now. Do appreciate it. You guys rock and I love you. What is this? M mini, mini mammut. And it looks like, um, what is it called? A, uh, woolly mammoth, maybe? It looks like something to do with chocolate, maybe. I'm excited for this one. This should be really cool. Oh, it is chocolate. Ooh, it looks like an Oreo or something. It looks like a little Oreo wrapped up in chocolate. Let's take a bite. Oh, the marshmallow. Mmm. Okay. Um. If you ever had Viva Puffs, it does without the filling. This little thing. Very tasty. Very simple. Took me only a moment to eat it. It's one of those. Oh man. That's, I need something chocolate in my life. That would be it. That was really good. That was really tasty. Kind of a hint of coconut in there too. I'm not a big fan of coconut, but... Oh, actually, I don't know if you know the, the cookie Blossoms. If you know Blossoms, it's these little wafer cracker and on top is a marshmallow with coconut on top. It's one of those except with another wafer on top wrapped in chocolate. That's exactly what it tastes like. I really like Blossoms even though I, even though I don't like coconut, so I'm going to give this one a yay. Really enjoyed that one. Very tasty. 10 out of 10. We are going to go with this one next, I think. We got cocktail peanuts. I'm not even joking. It's um, Japanese, Japanese Nishima, is this? Did I just get a Japanese Mexican product eaten by a Canadian? What is happening? Jap Japanese Nishi Nishiwa Yawa Nishiwawa Nishiyama. I'm not 100 sure. It's what Della Rosa, which I know that brand already. We've had stuff like that before. Their cocktail peanuts looks like got some spice on them. Toasted, not fried premium peanuts is what it says on the back. Toasted's a good idea. Got a choking hazard. A lot of stuff in English, which is pretty cool. We're gonna open this one up now and give it a try. I like, I like roasted peanuts, that's the thing, I actually like roasted peanuts, so, go oh, and they're pretty big, let's give it a try. Ooh, really crunchy, mmm! A little bit of spice, more like a savory flavor, it's more kind of barbecue-ish. Not too hard, pretty crunchy, these are really good. I can see me, like, I get random cravings for things. I'm like borderline pregnant moment when it comes to that. I get random cravings for stuff, and I could see me craving some of these in one moment. Man, I'm like, I would like some Japones Nishima cocktail peanuts made in Mexico, inspired by Japan. These are pretty good. Really like these. Very interesting one. I never thought I would see like nuts in here. So that's really cool. That's a very unique one. I can tell you for a fact I was not expecting flavored cocktail peanuts for this. So. Big thumbs up to Mexicrate for that one. That's a really cool find for them. Shout out to them. Three more left. Oh my god. Whoa, that's a huge chocolate bar. Yeah, we'll, we'll go around. We'll save it though. <laughs> you remember Salsa Getty? Here's his older brother. Lucas Zwinkles. <laughs> um, Lucas, Lucas Zwinkles re, re, Relino, Relinos. Watermelon flavored hot candy strips with watermelon flavored filling. I am stoked for this. I can tell you one thing about Mexican candies. If you haven't watched the other four episodes of this, Mexican candies nail the watermelon flavor. I love artificial watermelon. I have a soap in my bathroom that smells like bamboo and watermelon. Don't smell like no bamboo, but it smells like amazing artificial watermelon. So I am a big lover of the watermelon flavoring. In the first ever Mexicrate, I opened it up, and I had a Mex I had a, um, a watermelon candy in it, and I loved it, besides for the big spiciness. So, this is what it looks like. It's got candy all over it. There's some goop coming out of it there. Let's give this a try. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's nice and spiced, too. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Better than the sauce of getting, in my opinion. 
Okay, that's really good. Okay, so this is the description of it. Tastes just like a watermelon candy. As soon as you get the watermelon candy in your mouth, it starts heating up. There's a heat to it. This was really tasty. Shout out to Swinkies. If you have any more of these, you probably got them mango. You can send them my way. I would really appreciate that. This one gets a double thumbs up for me because that is so good. It's the perfect mixture of sweet and hot and flavor, which is what I like because when I eat, say, hot wings, for example, I don't like just hot wings. I like flavored hot. Like if I'm going to have hot, like, mm, there's a nice tang to this and there's a little bit of heat coming in. So this was the perfect combination. Just shout out to Mix Crate for sending me that one. That means the world. Okay, next up, <laughs> this is a big bar. It's Della Rosa Mava Mava Bon Duo. <laughs> so you can see it looks like there's two different things in it. There is chocolate and strawberry, I'm assuming. I'm really excited for this one. I gotta say, Mexican chocolate is wicked. I don't think I've ever had a bad Mexican chocolate, so. I may eat this whole thing. It's, wow, it's big. Oh, what, uh, what in the world? Oh, I don't like that. Something white just exploded when I opened this up. What is this? Hold on, check this out. Oh no. What is all that? I don't know what that is. I don't want to risk that. But, okay. Interesting start. So here's the chocolate bar. Looks like you can split it in half. You can smell- Oh! Remember when I said Viva Puffs? Oh, this is a Viva Puff. I'm gonna throw out that wrapper just because I don't trust what that white stuff is. This smells just like a Viva Puff. I'm really excited for this one. Mmm. 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 That's- that's really good. That is really tasty. I'm going to leave another half for my friend for her to try it tomorrow. Because she will definitely want to try it. Viva Puffs. Just like I mentioned without the wafer. That's what this tastes like. It's so... It's just a pure good candy. Like, it's just a very tasty... A simply very tasty chocolate bar. Chocolate marshmallow and strawberry filling. That was, man, why does everyone I try now become the best one? That one's pretty much the best one. Like, two thumbs up for that one. Just pure good chocolate. Like, I even, I'm not even eating it all. I'm saving a piece for someone else to try. So, like, moi, muy bien. Is that Spanish? Probably. Last but not least, there is a very popular brand here in North America now. I think it's... Now I say North America. I know Mexico's part of North America. I'm very sorry if I ever say that incorrectly. Um, Takis have come to America recently. Well, to Can North America, Canada, United States. It might, it might just came to Newfoundland recently. I'm sorry if like I'm uncultural like that. But... They recently came here, and I tried the three flavors I had, and Enfuego was the hottest one. And it was really good. I liked the flavor of them. It was like pure spice, and I'm like, man, this is really good. Your boy got hooked up with some Taki Zombies. I don't know what this is. I've never heard of this one before. Um, Mini Taki Zombie. Like, I don't know what zombie is. I'm excited to try these. I don't care if they're supposedly expired or not. It's like, they don't smell, but they're green. <laughs> Take a look at this. They're actually green. So they're like zombie. There is... Oh. I see habanero. Does this got habanero spice on it? Let's find out. Oh, it do. Instantly. Oh. They taste really good, though. Oh, they're tasty. Mm-mm. Okay. They're very tasty. There's a nice hotness, but not enough to overpower to make it, like, sickening. Like, I wanted to eat more because of it. These are really good. These are really tasty. I like that they're in this, like, little Halloween pack. I'm assuming maybe that's what they are. You can give them that as snacks for, um, like, trick-or-treating, maybe. Maybe that's what they are. 
man, if y'all want to hook me up a full box of these, I'll give them out as trick or treating. Put an extra crate sticker on each one. Be like, hey, subscribe to Mexicrate crate and subscribe Crash Hands. So, I mean, it took me five episodes, technically five episodes, to find something that I've actually had, but never had this one with the zombie, which was really good. The spice is still kind of tingling, but it's not bad. Very flavorful. Taki Zombies gets a plus one for me. Well, a thumbs up, like what a normal person would say, but I said a plus one. Yeah, that was really good. We are at the bottom of the Mexicrate, so thank you again <coughs> for another excellent Mexicrate. Literally, we had one bad thing, and that, literally one, out of all the others we had, I don't remember exactly what we had, we had one bad thing, and that was that chili powder thing. And in a way, I feel like you were pranking me, being like, oh, let's put it in his box. I don't know if you know, like, whose box this is who, or whatever, but, like, it was really cool. This is a very good one. Here's the thing, now, trying to figure out what my favorites was, I have five, actually, out of my favorites. The Taki Zombies, the Malaban Duo, the Lucas Squinkies, the Japon, Japanese Haishiyama, and the Adama Wafer. The lollipops were excellent. The little banana candies, they were all so good. This was the, hands down, the best Mexicrate I've had. And Midge was hoping that I got more gum, so like... I might save one of these to give to her when she comes visit me next. So, Midge, if you're watching, I'm going to have one of those for you. So remind me, because I might forget. I'm going to have to go since... Now, here's the reason I'm choosing this. Every time that I have gotten a Salsa Getty, I didn't enjoy it. But this one, I really did. This was the perfect mixture of everything I've wanted with something in Mexico. With sweet, salty, s uh, hot, savory, everything. This was so good. I'm going to have to give it to the Swinkles. I think it's, it's Squinkles? I think it's Squinkos. I'm going to give it to the Watermelon Squinkles from Lucas. Everything else was so good besides that chili powder. I am stoked. Mexicrate is getting better and better every single time. We are about to hit our sixth month with Mexicrate, and it means the world to me that you guys are supporting it, leaving some awesome comments below, wanting to see this, and it led to Mexicrate finally noticing me. So thank you for noticing Mexicrate, and I forgot to say at the end, beginning of the video, if you guys are interested in Mexicrate, I will have a link in the description, and if you enter your email, sign up to your newsletter, you're going to get 15% off your first order. That's pretty cool, 15% is better than nothing, man. You get some awesome monthly Mexican candies, and these are authentic Mexican candies, just let you know. These aren't stuff you can get at the corner store saying Mexican on it. These are actual Mexican candies, like, you'll be lucky if, if there's English on them. But that is going to do it for this Mexicrate. So good. Excellent as always. It's getting better and better each time, especially since you got the new, um, since you got over 1,000 different candies. So I'm so stoked to see what next month has to offer. And if you guys enjoyed, let me know by leaving a like and comment below. And please swing by Mexicrate and just at least take a look at what they have because there's a lot of good stuff. But as always, I bid you farewell.